What's going on you guys? I'm going to show you today how you can play retro games on an awesome PC monitor. Arcade stick here to control the game, which is very nice. Today I will share to you guys what you will get becoming a member. By becoming a member you will support my future content on this channel. It will really help a lot. It doesn't matter how much you donate, every single dollar counts. Level 1 Zero, ninety-nine dollars. No matter what you choose, you will get these custom emojis. Depending on how long you've been a member. Well, you will get these following emojis. These are the base emojis that will always be here. If you guys have any suggestions for new emojis, make sure to message me on Discord or any other social media you can think of. First one is the GG emoji, of course, very essential. The next one is the Uno Reverse emoji, a suggestion by a member. Previous. And of course you always need the F in the chat emoji when someone fails. I decided to add a thank you emoji. This might change in the future. I'm not sure. I hope you guys consider these perks and I hope you guys stay awesome. This monitor supports 70, 75 hertz. You, most games can't play that high, but it looks really nice. That's the one thing that matters. And I'm currently using this uh, adapter here. I will show you close-ups of it in the video but it's basically a composite or s video to vga converter this might not be the best quality in the world but it's the most lag free quality in the world i'm thinking about buying more of these and making like a gaming cafe in the future because we don't have that we don't have any retro games here on just any retro game stores here which kind of sucks but anyway I'm going to show you guys how this works and uh, let me show you guys how it works here. Just boot the monitor. There you go. Got an arcade stick here to control the game, which is very nice. You're going to see some close ups of this. Uh, I would play the game, but currently I'm turning around, so I need to probably change my position here to show you guys in the end of the video. But I'm going to show you guys how you can set up this to play on a monitor. And the good thing is, if you have a monitor that has speakers for it, that will be even better. I recommend that. It needs to be a 4x3 monitor to make make sure it works with the uh, aspect ratio of a N64. You might be asking, how do I capture gameplay by playing on a monitor like this? Well, you can, actually. If you're using composite or S-video, you can convert it to a SCARP signal, which is really good. And there's a other thing I have here. Let me just grab it. This thing right here. This, you put plug in SCART. Uh, you can get SCART, uh, a composite 2 SCART if you don't have a composite, uh, the SCART cable, basically. And it goes to HDMI, and you have an audio output right here if you want to use headphones instead of the speakers on the monitor. You can decide to turn out off the sound on the monitor if you have that. This one can shoot 1080p or 720p, and it's really good if you have a 4x3 monitor, so you don't have to do any, any editing on it. It will be widescreen in the capture though. So you'll see now I'm going to turn this off. It doesn't disturb. Yeah, speakers turn off. So this is uh, something I want to show you guys at the end of this video, of course, as well. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set up this uh, the way I found, because uh, this monitor also has DVI, which is a really good uh, HDMI converter thing. Uh, you have to make sure that you, uh, well I guess you have this, so you can just get audio from this if you want to have audio in headphones or whatever you're using to play video games, like a speaker. In this case I could just plug the speakers from, I guess the audio from the, like right here, like right into it, and then the speakers will play the sound. It's that simple as that. It's very nice. Today I will show you how to play retro games on the following monitor. If you don't have this monitor, it doesn't really matter. It's just a really efficient monitor that you can use for your video uh, gaming. <laughs> this is the console I'll be using. Of course, it doesn't matter what console you use. This is just to show that you can play old school games with good quality on a simple monitor. Unfortunately, I don't have the S video, but that doesn't really matter. You can play these games if you're enough distance without being bothered by the low quality image with just the composite. For this video, I will be using this simple, very awesome looking 
composite S video and uh, VGA plugs. The best thing about this thing is you can plug in your retro systems to this and you can also plug in a PC because it's got settings for PC, picture in picture, reset, mode, menu, and yeah, p picture in picture. What that actually means is this is gonna be pretty cool. You'll be able to show like your PC as, at the same time as you're playing your retro system so you can essentially watch the videos while playing retro games right away. I love that part. So you can put it in a corner of the video, of course. And also, I almost forgot to tell you guys, this power plug right here, I think you can see it on here, it needs to be 5 volts. These are not too hard to come by, so you guys should be able to find the 5 volt power supply. You can see the, the, the width of this. I'm not sure exactly how big it is, but uh, I'll show you the power supply after this. Whenever I plug it all up. You will also need one of these. Uh, this is a composite or a, the so-called RCA to the 3.5 millimeter jack. So you can plug in the speakers that I have for the current monitor I'm gonna use for this. I hope you guys have the same monitor that's gonna make this way better. And they go for not too expensive on eBay, so you could probably buy them there. I will provide links for the monitor in the description if I find any. Of course, it might change. But this is the reason why you need this, because you can plug the speakers on the actual monitor. First of all, we need to plug in this monitor. I want to show you guys what this monitor can do. I should have cleaned it, I know. But if you look at the back right here, you got the audio cable plug right there. You also have some stuff. I'm going to put this monitor has a DVI port. If you have a what's you, what you call what you call it a SCAR to HDMI converter, you can use this port. But I highly recommend you use this port instead, because this port is an analog port, which means it's going to support the analog retro game system signal way better. Uh, the lights is pretty weird, so hold on just a second. I think I can move it a bit. You can see the VGA port right there. Cool thing about this monitor is a lot of things. I'm just gonna put it back up again. This one actually comes with a back panel so you can cover up all those cables, which is pretty neat. I'm probably gonna sand this down so it's matte finish, but uh, it's pretty dirty, I know. I haven't used this monitor in, since the last video I made, I'm pretty sure. So that's the reason why. I didn't show this part in the other video because uh, I didn't want you guys to be bothered with that, but I wanna show every single step of the way there. So, of course, VGA cable you plug into a back port. Let's see if I can do this one handed. I might have to. All right, so we got the VGA cable plugged in there, and there's like an awesome cable management system here where you can manage your cable so it'll stick out through the back. Same with the power plug. I'm pretty sure you can also fit the audio cable here, but you don't have to, of course. But it's if you want it more organized, let me bring you the audio cable. You will need a two, uh, like two way cable. Very simple, very simple. You plug in the audio cable right in the back here to get the audio for the game, of course. Then you put the audio cable in this cable management. It's better if you, if you put the uh, audio cable first. Let's just do it like that. It's best if you put... Okay, it's gonna do this real quick. It shouldn't be that hard. I'll skip if it takes too long to do this stuff, but now you have all the cables managed here. Very good, very good. Let me grab the, the back plate real quick for this. I wish I had someone else to film me doing this, but I'm doing it on my own because it's really late at night right now. All right, so now the monitor is all set up. I'm probably gonna go ahead and clean this before I actually sh show you guys the gameplay. But you just want the audio cable right and right ready right there. Let me go ahead and get the console for you guys. All right, let me put in the console here. This is my N64, it's pretty dusty. I haven't used it in a while. I probably should use it more, but here it is, right here. Very beautiful. So I already have the plugs uh, for this plugged up. So you just plug in your power supply for your N64, the ginormous thing in the back. Shouldn't be that big of a problem. Very good, very good. I think everything is already plugged up Power. So you guys would understand there's power some stuff as well, of course. And I'm actually using my favorite new controller for the N64, which is a arcade stick, which I highly recommend you guys get if you want an interesting experience, more of an arcade experience with your N64. Let me pull this up. 
This is not really needed for the video. I just want to show you guys that it's actually a working thing. Well, you'll see when I start playing the game. So we're gonna grab, of course, the converter right here. Very nice. So there's two different ports, of course, for the VGA. There is a in output port that you get for plugging into the monitor, but there's an input. If you have an old computer, you also want to plug up so you can have an extra thing. I'm thinking about getting a retro computer for retro gaming, of course. All right, let me see here. I'm gonna plug in the, the VGA cable here. Let me see if, okay, wrong way. You can actually screw this in if you don't want to risk the cable being unplugged. But there you go, that's all done. And we also need the N64 video cable. Oh, here we go, found it. <clears throat> I think this is the right cable. All right, you just gotta plug in your uh, video AV cable. I know there's gonna be a converter coming out soon, so I won't really need all this stuff. But this is probably the best way to play without any lag, basically. So what do you do with this cable, you may ask? Well. You need the yellow cable, of course. You can probably use an S-Video converter instead. Just to, well, an S-Video cable, because this converts S-Video as well. It's only video for this device, so you only get the video from it. That's why you should have speakers in your, in your system. And of course, we're gonna use this audio cable now. And that's why I have this converter here, which you plug into this one right here. There you go. Then grab your old school cables. This is just not for capture cards, basically. This is just an output if you, can, if you can't manage to split the signal. Okay. Okay, let me just carefully plug this in with one hand. And there you go. The other one. Another one. There you go. But this one is currently not powered. You need a power cable. It does, it does come with a power cable. I found it just recently, but... I'm gonna use another one that I'm currently using for another uh, converter you can also use. All right, here we have the power cable. You have, you have to make sure you get the right type of power cable. This is a usual one that comes with most, most things. So let's plug that in to the, the thing real quick. Now you should see a blue light turning on if you, if you did it right. Make sure you get the right type of cable. You don't want to get over give this power and break it. I will probably try to find this online. I guess it's called, let me see here real quick. It's called a, a video to VGA converter, basically. So you can convert your signals and stuff. Very good, very good. So the last thing you need to do, of course, I guess you have to turn on the monitor, of course, that makes sense. Currently, when the console is not on, you get this blue screen. That means it's actually working, this thing. Whenever I start this system, let me go back a bit. You can see right here. The cool thing about this monitor as well, you probably can just split the signal and get headphones as well, or just plug in headphones in your, in your monitor. You can see the quality is pretty good. I, unfortunately, I'm like light, showing him light right into it. Let me move that away. But you guys can see, this looks really nice. Not the best, it's not S-Video, it's composite, so it's not gonna look the best, but uh, I think it's some interference with my current thing here. So this, this thing, you can press the start button right here. And there, there's how it goes. You can actually play games. I tried playing with this and I'm so satisfied. I just have to get an S-Video cable, which will make these, apparently they're pretty blurry, so that might be an issue for you. But you know, you could change that, probably. So I can't really show you guys gameplay because I'm holding this with one of my hands. Uh, I might do a setup where I play this a bit uh, after, at the end of the video. So you guys check that out. All right, currently this display can display in 72 Hertz. 75, sorry, 75 Hertz. So it's gonna be pretty high quality if you're looking for that sort of stuff. All right, you guys, I'm gonna show you what it looks like play uh, retro consoles on this monitor with the VGA, no, uh, video to VGA converter, I almost got it wrong. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. Uh, should I guess I'm gonna put this light up so it looks nicer. <laughs> oh, we forget something when you record. But, I'm gonna start the monitor. If it actually recognize my touch, there we go. I'm gonna start the console here. 
And I actually have, the, you can actually put memory cards in here, which is pretty cool, which I really like a lot. In fact, if you can do that, you can see the, the video quality is pretty sweet. I love it so much. <laughs> so cool. The be best intro song, music ever. If you guys agree, please leave a comment down below if you think so too. Alright. I'm gonna start uh, gaming here. The cool thing about this arcade stick is really, really awesome. Like, the responsiveness is pretty cool. I think you can, can use these. Nope. You can use the D pad, but there's also a stick for the D pad as well. If you wanna use that. And this would be pretty cool to use. For example, for like a Pokemon Pokemon Stadium, I want to make arcades of each game, basically. Uh, I'm thinking about setting up a uh, video game arcade cafe in the future of my life. So I need a way to make it really easy to set up, which this is going to really help with, I'm hopeful. I don't know if it's, you guys are going to see the gameplay more than my face. I don't think so, it's focused on me right now. I think I could change it, hold on. I make the focus the game. It doesn't seem to think it, the game is the focus, but it should be fine. Let's go for uh, Vela, aka the girl of the game. We call, just call him the, 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 the guy, the girl, and the dog. That's what we call him, because we didn't know what their name was, because we couldn't read when we played this game. Oh yeah, you can't do anything. But this is um, one of my favorite games on the N64. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but it's really awesome. I, love it. I really like it. Unfortunately, I don't think you can, I can't skip the cutscene. I think you can only skip the cutscenes if you beat the game. I'm not sure. From what I know, you can't skip, skip the the cutscenes of the game. Which kind of sucks, but it's fine. I'm thinking about buying one of these monitors every month uh, because they cost around like a thousand Swedish crowns, which is like a hundred bucks. But you can see here, you can press the shoot button right here, the red button, to make sure you know it's a shoot button. So let me do this. You can see the delay. I think it's not that bad. I'm pretty sure this is a five millisecond delay screen. So it won't be as good as a, what should I call it? A, uh, what you call, uh, it won't be as good as a C CRT TV. I have a CRT TV behind right there. You can see it. Uh, it's not that visual, but you know, I want to plug it into this and the CRT so I can have one next to my gaming setup as well as, uh, you know, playing on other. I just need to get the S video, of course. It's really required to have S video if you want to do this sort of stuff to make it not as laggy. I can't, I can't wait for that to happen whenever I get that. <laughs> That's going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to use this angle as well to show you the other setup you can do. Uh, I forgot to bring the HDMI cable, so I'll be right back. And I will share you guys, share with you guys what um, you know it will look like with the HDMI. I think it's gonna be pretty similar. It's not gonna be too different. It's gonna be pretty similar. I'll see you guys later. All right. See you then. So that's all for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys got helped by this video. I will try to find everything here for um, for the description, so you guys can go and check out all these items of course so you can do this yourself i found this monitor on ebay for around i think like 80 60 bucks it's pretty good so i highly recommend this one a lot you should get it and you can also with this converter you can actually edit what you want to do like if you want to do picture and picture i haven't shown that stuff but i'm going to do that in a future video of course and i'll see you guys in the next video, don't forget to leave a like down below and comment what you guys think about this video. Should I do more videos like this? How to set up stuff? I'm working on a big setup for my retro game video game collection to see if I can plug everything up at once. It's going to be an interesting journey. But I hope you guys will follow me on that by subscribing, hitting that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.